So let's talk about Ura. Ura is the Valhalla dark elf, who is also dark in element. Ura means pine in Old Norse. Some pine trees are poisonous and produce pollen. And a lot of pine trees together form a glade, so her special is night glade pollen, uh, which kind of makes sense. So I'm going to talk about her special, I'm going to talk about her usability, and then I'm going to talk about her stats. So her special comes in three bullet points. The first is 150% hit against all enemies. It's good, but it's not great. Um, she reduces HP of an enemy by 100 HP down to 30% if you can hit enemies multiple times. But the third special is the best element in my opinion. She reduces healing by 50% for four turns. Now, this applies to where you use Fura because I've seen grades where she's had B minuses on Titans, B minuses on offense and defense. So, where do you use Fura? Fura is a very specialist niche or niche hero only to be used when an opponent has multiple healers or healing buffers or you're against a boss that has a lot of healing. That's when you can use Fura. She eliminates all of that healing and allows you to get past that stage quickly. I've been in many wars or at the end of events on difficult mode where the enemy just keeps on healing and healing and eventually you run out of uh, equipment that you bring with you and then you get grinded down so Fura stops that from happening so to be used against teams bosses opponents with lots of healings and healing buffs on that team now let's have a look at her stats she starts off at around 707 uh, attack when she's fully ascended these stats obviously change as heroes get buffed and nursed her attack is actually okay. Um, she's slightly weaker, but middle of the field for four-star darks um, on defense and HP. I recommend taking her down the shield path with emblems, which would take her to about 750 on attack, which is still decent. But the shield uh, or defense would get to about 730, which would keep her alive, especially with HP of uh, 1,255. She is a support hero. You do need to keep her alive um, so that she can allow your attacking heroes to finish off the enemy when they can't heal. In order to do that, she's got to stay alive. So that's why I recommend the shield path. So she does have a lot of usability in certain situations against teams with a lot of healing. She's not going to be a plug-in and play offense or defense or titan hero um, but i definitely recommend you level her up eventually because she will help you out in certain situations even if it's just the campaign or events or um, war when it's got healing aid that's fura thank you for watching and goodbye